Hello everyone, welcome back to Storytime. We are currently reading The Adventures of Lillian Hudson by Rebecca Giltrow, who happens to be me. I really wanted to share my stories with you, so I hope you enjoy them. They're about my little dog Lily, who hopefully you might meet uh, one day if I can encourage her to come on camera, but she is camera shy, and the adventures she has with her friend Hudson here. So I hope you enjoy these stories and let's get ourselves comfortable for chapter two. Lily and Hudson go bonkers. Hudson! Hudson, where are you? A voice shouted. Hudson! Hudson, where are you? Lily shouted. A couple of seconds later, Lily heard an unfamiliar shh. She lifted up her leg and looked behind her, but couldn't work out where the noise was coming from. She then heard a very faint whispered, Lily! coming from under the table. She poked her face under the tablecloth and, and saw a very sheepish Hudson peering back at her. What on earth are you doing under there, Hudson? Lily asked, poking him on the cheek. They want to take us for walkies, Hudson said quietly. Who do? asked Lily. The Newmans, replied Hudson. The Newmans? questioned Lily. Yes, remember I told you all about the Newmans the other day, grumbled Hudson. Lily looked up at the ceiling and poked her tongue out. Hmm, well, hmm, mumbled Lily. I wish you'd pay attention when I'm telling you things, Lily, sighed Hudson. I do pay attention, argued Lily. Sometimes. More like never, said Hudson, noticing that Lily was trying to squeeze herself under the sofa. Lily, what are you doing? I think if I stretch and Wish I can reach. Yep, got it, said Lily. With a bit of grunting and twisting, Lily flicked her paw and a small piece of something pinged out from under the sofa. What is that? asked Hudson. Toast, grinned Lily as she chomped on her snack. And remind me again that you pay attention, scoffed Hudson. What did you say? asked Lily, licking the toast crumbs from her lips. I was trying to tell you about the Newmans if you've finished your toast, said Hudson. Lily shuffled up next to Hudson. OK, tell me again about the Newmans. I must have forgotten, she smiled. Well, Newmans are those large hairless dogs that live in our home with us. But they don't just live here. They're all over the place. You've seen them. You have to take them out for walkies three times a day so they don't get too fidgety and restless. But they do their walking on their back legs all the time, explained Hudson. I can walk on my back legs too, boasted Lily, as she bounced, using only her front legs, lifting them off the ground and wobbling on her back legs. After a second of waddling, she fell sideways, landing on Hudson. Yes, very good, mocked Hudson. Lily, Hudson, where are you? The voice shouted. That must be the Newmans wanting to go out for walkies, Lily said, proud that she'd managed to pay attention to what Hudson had told her. Hudson groaned. I love going for walkies and I thought you did too, Lily said. I do like going for walkies, but I'm just really tired today. I was kept awake by someone wriggling around all night long, he said, peering at Lily. I'm, I'm all ready to go. We're just waiting for you, she yelped, pulling at his tail in an attempt to get Hudson to stand up. Get off, Hudson growled, swishing his tail across Lily's nose. What's up with you, grumpy face, she asked. Haven't you seen what the weather's like outside, Hudson said. Yep, yeah, it's windy, Lily smiled, blowing a big puff of air up Hudson's nose. Exactly, shuddered Hudson as he curled himself up into a ball. I don't know what your problem is, Lily said, running around Hudson. I love it. And with that, she ran out from under the table and barked. The Newmans turned and saw her sitting by the table. They lifted up the tablecloth and found Hudson lying down with his paws over his eyes. There you are, grumbled one of his Newmans. Outside, now. Hudson clambered up reluctantly and looked outside. Trees were shaking from side to side and Newmans were rushing around, almost getting blown over. I don't want to go, howled Hudson. Stop being such a baby, Hudson, giggled Lily. It's only a bit of wind. I have to put up with yours all the time, so I think you can cope with that. And she lifted her paw towards the door. Lily and Hudson sat by the door as the Newmans clipped the leads to the dog's collars. As soon as they'd stepped outside, a gust of wind made them stumble sideways. I'm going back inside, Hudson growled, turning to face a now closed door. 
No, you're not, said Lily, nudging him forwards. It's fun, and once you get moving, you can't even feel the wind. And off she ran into the wind, her fur being blown all over the place. Hudson plodded after Lily as she ran all over the pavement, chasing leaves as they floated on the breeze. When they reached the field, the Newmans let the pair off their lead so that they could run and play safely away from the road. Lily Suddenly, Lily stopped and stood still, staring intently at a pile of leaves. Did you see that move? Lily asked Hudson. It was probably the wind, Hudson replied. Now keep moving. The quicker you walk, the quicker we can get back home in the warm where it's not windy and I can go back to sleep. But Lily stayed where she was, watching the pile of leaves. A gust of wind rushed past and threw some of the leaves into Lily's face. See, it was the wind, Hudson said. I told you. As Lily turned to walk away, the leaves rustled. And this time it wasn't the wind. Slowly, she moved towards the leaves, <laughs> sniffing as she went. What are you doing? Hudson asked. Investigating, replied Lily as she ventured closer. Feeling slightly curious, Hudson started to follow Lily, <laughs> sniffing the ground. They both reached the pile of leaves and saw something moving. They poked their noses into the leaves and had a giant sniff. The leaves rustled again and a high-pitched giggle followed. Feeling brave, Hudson poked his nose in further and the giggles continued. And then a loud and sudden, ah, 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 choo, made Hudson jump backwards. Bless me, said a voice that was attached to a little head poking out of the pile of leaves. Who are you? Lily asked suspiciously. I'm Chatty Cat, said Chatty. You're a very strange looking dog, said Hudson, looking at Chatty closely. Chatty laughed. I'm not a dog, I'm a cat, he said, and bounced out of the leaves. What's a chatty cat anyway? Lily asked. Chatty giggled. I'm a chatty cat, silly, he replied. My name's Lily, not silly, Lily humphed. Sorry, Lily, my Newmans call me chatty because I like to talk a lot, he said. Our Newmans should have called you chatty, Hudson joked to Lily. She poked her tongue out at him. As I was saying, I'm a cat and a cat is a bit like a dog, but not exactly the same as a dog, he explained. Well, that clears that up, Hudson scoffed. Anyway, why are you sniffing at me? I was trying to have a nap, Chatty complained. It was my fault, said Lily. I guess I'm just very inquisitive. Nosy, more like, piped up Hudson. Lily poked her tongue out at him and carried on running through the leaves to hear the crunch as she jumped on them. Don't mind her, Hudson said to Chatty. She always has this much energy. Both Hudson and Chatty laughed as they watched Lily trying to catch leaves in the air or whoop, trying to trap them on the ground with her paw only to have them have the wind whisk them away. Ooh, yeah, grrr, yelped Lily as she pounced on the leaves. Then the happy Lily suddenly sounded angry with a yell. Ah, owie! Lily, barked Hudson, are you okay? Ouchies, cried Lily, licking her paw. That thing attacked me, she continued, pointing to an odd greenish-brown prickly thing on the ground. Hudson tapped it, but it didn't move. He tapped it again, but it stayed where it was. Don't worry, Lily, I think it's dead, he said. It's not dead, laughed Chatty. It's not an animal. Well, what is it, demanded Hudson. It's a bonker, said Chatty. And what's a bonker? asked Lily, still tending to her paw. It's tree jewellery. They hang up there on the tree arms, but sometimes they fall down, normally in the autumn, like now, and then Newmans go crazy and spend ages picking them all up, shoving them in their pockets and taking them home, Chatty explained. What do they do with them? asked Hudson. Well, this is the really crazy thing, replied Chatty. They put them on string and try to hit each other with them. That doesn't sound like fun, said Lily. It hurt just to stand on one, let alone have someone try to hit me with one. Hudson, I don't think I can walk on. My paw hurts too much. You'll have to carry me the rest of the way. In your dreams, Hudson scoffed. Lily, Hudson, the Newman shouted. It was nice to meet you, Chatty, but it looks like we have to finish our walkies, said Hudson. Enjoy your walk and watch where you're jumping. Goodbye, said Chatty. Goodbye, Chatty, said Lily. 
By the way, where's your Newman? Probably sitting inside in front of the television like usual, Chatty replied. I'm allowed out on my own and I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. You're so lucky, said Lily. We always have to have Newmans with us. I think I'd like to be a cat when I grow up. So there we go. That was chapter two of The Adventures of Lily and Hudson. I hope you can join me again tomorrow for more stories from my book. I'll see you later. Bye bye.